Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire model type run of the Fire Red Kendo Complete. Last time, we beat Erica, I know, shocker, and kicked Team Rocket out of their hideout in the Pokemon Tower. So, well, first, we're going to start things off by getting a couple things that I missed. So, just listen to this guy rant about his Rapid Ash or Ponyta, whatever, I don't care. And then you go back to Cerulean City and you give yourself a bite. Oh! This is where you get fly! Alright. Secret retreat. You live in the middle of Vermilion City, bitch! Oh! This is where you get fly! Alright. Secret retreat. You live in the middle of Vermilion City, bitch! Anyways, now we got that taken care of, we're gonna do things a bit out of the intended order. Normally, at this point, you go south by Koga, right? Nope. We're gonna kick Team Rocket out of the Silk Company. Okay, so we're actually gonna fight systematically kind of from the top to the bottom. But first, let's go and get ourselves that key. Gotta go to the fifth floor. Nope, not this one. Or, yeah, this is the right floor. First stick on this asshole. I figured I'm over-leveled enough, I could probably get away with it. Dunsparce. Don't we'll find too many of those. Fuck off with spite, will ya? If I fall correctly. Oh, wait, no. You don't want to go this way yet. Down here, you get the card key. Okay. Now we go back here, back here. And now we'll start to systematically clear everything out. Sandstorm! Okay. Not terribly useful to me right now. Miracle Seed boosts your grass type moves. If I need to, I can give that to Charizard, because, well, in power grass. Situationally, that could be very useful. In fact, what move what does it have now? Oh, yeah, it has the Dragon Fang. I might actually want to give it... Yeah, you know what? We are going to give it the Miracle Seed. Alright, that's this floor cleared out. Now let's work our way from the top now. For now. Another Dragon Scale. Which is an item that is, as far as I know, totally useless in this ROM hack. Because you no longer need it to get Kingdra. Now let's swap you out as well. Hey, you! My silly games, you're the one playing fuck fuck games, not me. I suppose that's one thing I kinda nice like about this hack is Team Rocket has a lot more variety when it comes to their teams. It's not just Rata and Zubat and things like that. Ooh, another PowerPoint Max. Hmm. We're gonna use that on Solar Beam. Now we come down here.
Nah, return higher base power. We'll just go with that. Now we're able to heal. Okay. Let's bring you up these ones. Those the others. Next floor down. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Buddy, you know I've been working my way from the top down, right? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, fuck off! You know what? No, no, fuck you. We're not playing these games. And stay down! Fuck off, dude. Alright, let's go back and heal real quick. Moving on back down to the seventh floor. Uh, fine, be that way. Potions now. Another TM for overheat. Okay. That might or might not be useful. We'll see. Fuck off, Volby. Of course, we're going to be back up to this floor later on as well, because, well, there's a rival battle here. Think about it, the rival is just an utter dick. I mean, he knows there's a hostage situation, but he comes here anyway with the sole intent of ambushing you. Although there actually is a fan animation based on a uh, red version, which kind of comes up with a more plausible explanation for uh, blue and red fighting each other at the self company. I won't spoil that in case you want to go see it. And, and I do, and I recommend it. It's actually really good. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to show something off. So the Polka Flute can be used in battle to wake your Pokemon up. Mind you, if you use it and a Pokemon's not asleep, it just says it plays a catchy tune or something like that. It skips your turn, basically. Situationally, that can actually be beneficial. In fact, for that reason, we're going to move this up to the top. Yeah, we did. Okay. Down to the next floor. By the way, remember why I said that real-world locations are mentioned in this game? This is the one where they reference a Russian branch. Tixi is a town in Russia.
If I recall correctly, it's somewhere off in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Now, that said, I don't mind him for... I, I don't really blame him for being, uh, salty about that, considering, uh... If we assume this takes place in the year of the original game's release, around 1995, 1996... Russia was not a good place to be. To put it lightly. Oh, another... We got a blue flute, too, which is honestly kind of redundant, since we have the polka flute, which does the exact same thing. Except you can also use it out of battle. I'm the traitor? Okay. I mean, in my defense, I did ask to join you guys back at the, uh, Nugget Bridge. But no, you guys wouldn't take yes for an answer. You can only blame yourself, dipshit. Yeah, that's some pretty, uh... That's, that's a good logic there. I, I totally agree with you. That's sarcastic, by the way. There actually is a ROM hack where... It runs on the premise of what if Red took up Team Rocket's offer. Not to be confused with Fire Red Rocket Edition, which is completely different. Oh, fuck off. Moving on. What do you got in here? Dragon Fang? Smoke Ball? Never Melt Ice Booster, Ice Hep Attacks. And... Uh... Yeah, dude. <laughs> you would have been stuck there until you starved at that, right? If you know, let's be honest, you would have died of thirst first. No rule of thumb when it comes to survival situations. It's... Two hours without... It's two hours without shelter. It's... Hold on, no. Two minutes without air, two hours without shelter, two days without water, and two weeks without food. We'll actually be back in this room later on. Because, well, we have to go down this way to fight Blue. I think it's actually that teleporter right there. But again, we're going to clear out all the trainers first. Did I fight you? Yes, you did. Okay. Now we're down to the second floor. Stop wasting my time. Who are you calling a kid, kid? Oh yeah, this chick teaches Thunder Wave to one of your Pokemon. Let's see. Nope, couldn't use it even if I wanted to. Uh-huh. Help! Wait. What is this? Something awful? I didn't. But, well, now I can tell it to the cops, I guess. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, and you're shit. You know, if you think about it, 
the Team uh, Team Rocket's raid on the Sylph Company has to be an inside job. How many employees turned out to be on Giovanni's payroll? It's a lot. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we go back down. Did I miss a trainer on the floor? I think I might have missed one. Nope. Making sure. Alright, back down to, I think it was third or fourth floor. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Nope, it's the one below it. Okay, it should be this one. Yep, here we go. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances on him pulling any shit out of his ass. Blue, you are such a shithead, you know that. And you know, this is the whole reason why people think, oh, he wants to join Team Rockets. Uh, no. Fuck off. Hmm. Eh, doesn't really make much of a difference. The same base attack power. Okay, well, let me see. Hmm. Not taking any chances. Uh huh, sure. We'll see about that, kiddo. And this guy gives you Lapras. What do you call you? Uh. I know they're gonna. I'll need about 350. Oh, yeah, so after uh, one last healing trip, I think we're ready to go and take on the last Rocket Grunt and the Team Rocket boss, of course, Giovanni. Anyway, um, funny thing about that uh, area where the lady heals you, yeah, a lot of Japanese businesses will have nap rooms there because, well, basically, you're expected to give your whole life to the company, pretty much, so as a result... A lot of people just have to sleep overnight at their jobs. You wonder why their birth rates are so low? That's a big reason why. It's because companies keep asking people to, you know, devote all their life to, the, you know, the company instead of having families. It actually got so bad that recently, I think, they passed a law where basically the corporations were told... No, you are not going to force your employees to work all the time until they kill themselves. You're going to, let, going to let them go home and fuck their wives every so often. As our last Prime Minister said before he died, I'm no longer asking, have sex. I'll just fuck off, you piece of shit. Fine, be that way. Oh no, you don't. Yeah, you always get the exact RNG. Fuck off! Yeah, that's what I thought, dipshit. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Eat shit, Giovanni. Yeah, you did! I'm gonna kick your ass again in Viridian City. Just wait. Anyways, now that dipshit's gone, we can go and pick ourselves up a Master Ball. Mm hmm.
Uh, yeah, dude, I'm afraid I have some bad news. You can, in fact, buy those at a certain shop in Viridian City. They're expensive, but you can buy them. Just to prove it, yeah, you can, in fact, buy Master Balls here. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Or, uh... Nah, for that much, I don't think so. I'll come back here if I need them. Oh, by the way, yeah, the Lapras is shiny. Good shit. I suppose we could do one more thing before we finish this episode off. Oh, not the one I intended to use, but okay. Oh, fuck off! Fuck you, bitch! No! Go away! Fucking counter piece of shit. Oh, no, you don't. Be right back, smart asses. Fuck off! Just die already. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. Yeah, you should. Before I decide to kick your ass even harder. Well, you ain't getting any from me, so... Fuck you, bitch. I hope you like that, because that's gonna hurt. You've got to be shitting me. No, no, we're not, we're not playing these games. No, I don't think so, bitch. Yeah, eat shit. Nah, it doesn't matter which one I take. Can't use them anyway. Oh, well, you're Mike after the old, uh, what's well, the nickname for Mike Tyson back in the day. Here's the thing that'll wrap it up. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Rumble page. And I'll see you all next time.